Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 23. Write a program to input names of n students and store them in a tuple. Also, input a name from the user and find if this student is present in the tuple or not. Now, let us take a variable called name is equal to here we are going to initialize this variable with the tuple so here it is going to create an empty tuple and initializes to name next i'll take one more variable called n of type integer and inside the input statement i'll ask the user to enter how many names do you want to enter end the double quotation mark and put these two closing braces next using iterative statement one by one i'm going to enter the names here i'll write for i in range of n and then put colon as per the syntax of for loop now with the space indentation here i'm going to write a variable called num is equal to input and inside the round bracket i'll ask the user to enter the name and here i'll use concatenation operator with str function i plus one so for the first time i value is 0 0 plus 1 it will become 1 so it is going to print enter the name 1 and here i'm going to write plus mark and in a double quotation mark i'll put colon and then close the bracket now let us go for writing name is equal to here i'm going to write name plus num so whatever we are going to enter it will be stored in num and it is go on adding to the name so name is a variable that is creating empty tuple for the first time as and when the user enters the name it will go on adding it to this particular variable and after this we need to put comma over here and then close the bracket so in order to insert each element at a time into the tuple we need to put comma over here now so with the alignment of for loop i have to write print statement to so print here i'm going to write names entered are so whatever the names entered by the user so those names will be printed here i'm going to put comma and i'll write the name of the variable next i'm going to take one more variable called search is equal to using input statement i'll ask the user to enter the name to be searched here i'm going to write in a double quotation mark enter the name to be searched and the double quotation mark and put the closing brace now we are going to use the selective statement called if here i'm going to use if this variable search in name that is in tuple if this is true then it has to print with indentation i have to write print in a double quotation mark i'm going to write name in the double quotation mark it will be printed as it is put comma then the right variable called search and then put comma in a double quotation mark you write is present and then close the bracket if this is false then else part must get executed so else put colon and with indentation space i'll write print in a double quotation mark i'll write name and the double quotation mark put comma write the variable called search put comma double quotation mark is not present now let us see the output of this program 
So once we execute this program, it will ask the user how many uh, names do you want to enter. So here I'm going to write how many names do you want to enter. For example, I'm going to enter two. So once we enter two, so these two statements will get executed twice. So here num is equated with enter the name one will be printed. So here it will ask the user to enter the name one. So because of this i plus one, i is zero for the first time, zero plus one, it will become one. And then this colon will be printed as it is, as we have written it in a double quotation mark. Now I'm going to type name for example i'll type raju so raju will be stored in name because num is holding this value and it is added to the variable called name once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one now it is going to ask once again the user to enter the name two why because earlier it was zero now it is i value is 1, 1 plus 1 it will become 2 and this colon will be printed as it is and here I am going to write Ramu for example. Next after this the control directly comes out of this iterative statement and it is going to print names entered are here it is going to print names entered are so both Raju and Ramu will be printed in a round braces that forms a tuple. After this, you can see that we have got the next statement search is equal to input enter the name to be searched. So this asks the user to enter the name to be searched. For example, here I am going to enter Raju. Now we are going to check out this condition if search here Raju is stored in variable search Raju in name. So here in this tuple we have Raju present. Hence this condition will be true. If this condition is true then the first statement will be executed. So name will be printed as it is as we have written it in a double quotation mark. And search is holding what? Raju. Name Raju is present will be printed. So there is one more alternative option. So let us check out this particular part by entering the name which is not present in the tuple. Okay. Next. Here I am going to execute this particular program one more time. And it is going to ask the user to enter two names. Once again, I'm going to enter Raju and Ramu. And then once again, it will ask the user to enter the name to be searched. Here I'll write enter the name to be searched. This time, for example, I'm going to enter the name called Rajesh, which is not at all present in this tuple. So here if search is what Rajesh if search in name so in a tuple Rajesh is present no it is not present hence this condition will be false once this is false then else part will get executed so here it is going to print name search is holding Rajesh name Rajesh is not present will be printed. Now it's time to go for executing this particular program. Let us execute and check out the result. Here we have come to VS Code. Let us click on new file. And here I'm going to write lab23.py and press enter. Here you can observe we have come to lab23.py file. Here I'm going to write name is equal to, I'm going to create an empty tuple. And now I'm going to fast forward this particular part of the video so that we can save our time.
now it's a uh, time to save this particular file by pressing control s let us go to run click on start debugging click on python debugger click on python file debug the currently active python file here it is executing and it takes a little uh, time to execute now you can see how many names do you want to enter it is asking for example i'm going to enter two and then i'm going to enter raju now you can observe it is asking the user to enter name two for example here i'm going to enter ramu and press enter here you can see names entered are raju and ramu now it is asking the user to enter the name to be searched for example i'm going to enter raju and press enter here you can see it is printing name raju is present now let us execute this particular program one more time by pressing alt control n here once again it is asking how many names do you want to enter for example two only the so same names i'm going to enter first one is raju second one is ramu and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the name to be searched for example here i'm going to enter rajes which is not at all present in this tuple i'm going to press enter and here you can observe name rajesh is not present i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video